Hello there, everybody. My name is Run Bam Run Faster. And I'm Myrtle! Myrtle, who is decidedly not Kurtz. I Ch hope not. That would be awkward. It would also mean that you have a very talented voice. No kidding. I know, right? All the octaves are mine. <laughs> all, all your octaves are belong to us. Um, so, we're, we're changing things up a little bit. Ooh. We're having Myrtle sit in on, on a gilf. Yeah. You can expect Kurtz to show up in an awful lot. Uh, we're doing this because we realized that Kurtz actually hadn't recorded with, like, anybody else. Uh, and, and he was getting a little tired of, of Bam's nonsense over here. So, to save everyone's sanity... I am a bastard. Yep. They, they have to trade me off, otherwise they'll, the murderous intentions get too strong. Yep. Uh, so the game that we'll be playing for, for this gilf is The Banner Saga, which is a fun little uh, Celtic-Germanic-themed uh, tactical strategy RPG. I'm just going to throw all the adjectives in there. Most of which I don't even understand. You know, that's okay. She's still learning, folks. Uh, but I am in love with this game, uh, at least conceptually. I love the style of it. Um, I'm, I'm a sucker for this whole time period. And you're probably going to hear me get, like, down, downright nerdy at some points. Uh, and, I, and that's okay, guys, because I'll be here to say, um... To, to rein me in. Yeah, also to say, like, I don't understand a word that you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm basically here as you, if you guys got to sit next to him while he was playing that game. And Basically, you know nothing about Norse mythology. I'm gonna start like rattling off about <laughs> about like you know uh, runic languages and, and just just bear with me. I swear, if you start if you start up with the Beowulf, mm -hmm. I swear. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Cheerful. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun! That's, um... That's not a big deal. No. The sun's stopping now. No. We're fine. It's fine. No biggie. Planets aren't spinning on their axi... Axi? Axises? I don't know. Axes? Axi. Oh, he's talking. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the wild human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Fun. Good times. You know, like you do. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop no, in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. So it could have been years. Good have. The they could just be really bad at telling time. Taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year. No one's round. freaking out about the sun thing. I mean, they are, but they're also like, man, we got shit to do. You've been warned by stranded travelers about the brigands on the path through Richhorn. Our AKA road home. your tutorial enemies. Our mm. captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. So you might be able to see like little horns on those guys' heads. Those aren't helmets. Those guys actually just have horns. Uh, they're called the Varl. They're giants. Uh, oh yes. Oh yes, this animation. It's like 90s animation. It really is, and I love it. <laughs> it just, it brings me back. Alright. This is, this is like... If any of you out there know who Ralph Bakshi is, it just, it brings me straight back to his stuff. Uh, you know, anyone who watched, like, Fire and Ice, uh, or I guess Fritz the Cat, did that one. It was kind of a weird one. Uh, Silence. It's a loading screen. It's a loading screen. It's a loading screen. We're loading the game. That was awfully cheerful, considering we've just heard, like, there's brigands, we're in winter, oh, we're about we're to fight, we're fighting. the sun is gone. You've arrived just in time. 
The chieftain in red and his men are now are looking are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Click and drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click check mark to continue. Portraits show the initiative. You're taking turns left to right. Your allies are in blue. The enemies are in red. So ally enemy ally enemy ally etc. Yay. Uh, happens for the action. The ring shows your shield bearer is active. That's uh, shield banger. Shield banger. Yeah. Okay, look, guys. It's not our place to judge what sort of what sort of implement of war he bangs. Okay, that's that's how he lives his life. Plus, shields are really sexy. Are they? Yes. I don't get much out of them, but. Well, you know, it's just not for you then. Right. If it floats uh, your boat, that's totally fine. Uh, stuff, stuff, fighty fight. Confirm. Check marks. Kick his ass! <coughs> yeah, so basically it's just teaching me about uh, I can sunder his armor or I can attack him directly. Armor makes it more difficult to take down his health. I'm gonna take out... No, I can't. Alright, we're just gonna... Oh no, I gotta... Okay. Uh... You have to get through the tutorial first, <sighs> bam! God! I don't, but I... Uh, Can't you read? No. I never learned. That's really bad, considering you're in college. Hook it on Pahonics, never work it format. Uh, yeah, okay. Armor. Enemy has only five strength remaining. The strength attack will kill them, because it does five damage. Because his armor is fuck all, apparently. Yeah, screw you, man. Uh, and they're, they haven't said this yet, but if I click that star, I'll do more damage. Dead. So if you punch him in the nuts. Basically. That is kind of like the instant kill blow for this game. It's kind of OP. Uh, he's down! Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used to later improve your character. Woohoo! Bang our shield! He it, just banged a shield. Oh, in, in public. public. That's despicable. Uh, that's okay. Most of these people are going to be dead in a there, little while there anyway. There are so. kids in this audience somewhere, I'm sure. But, but you know, if there's pillaging afterwards, there's got to be raping. I mean... That's just natural. Yeah. Now, he only did one damage to me because I've got a butt, a butt ton of armor. Uh, now it's my Warhawk's turn. That just sounds really badass. My Warhawk. I want him to have wings. It's a <laughs> Warhawk, just... Flap. You can't see it. I'm flapping. Mm-hmm. She is. It's very, it's very graceful. Uh, Tempest. I get the feeling I'm supposed to do a Tempest attack. What does Tempest do? He know, heavy yeah. impact. Enemies adjacent to the target take one strength damage. Cool. You can do that. So then, so then you hit both of them? Presumably. Yes, I do. That was not one strength wow. damage. Wow. That was six. Yeah, that was not one strength damage. There was pillaging. There is pillaging. We're now in pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Because otherwise, they, they take turns. Um, check the initiative to see how the order has changed, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if the character does not move this turn, he will regain one willpower. Willpower is like the special currency that you use to do that, like hard, heavier attacks. Uh, looks like the chieftain's in trouble. Well, he's... About to get gang banged by two giants. No, no, shield banged and war hawked. Get oh, it right. I'm sorry. Get it right. My bad. He's about to get shield banged. And war hawked? No, I don't think he's gonna get war hawked. Uh, oh, I have to exert myself on this one. Of course, and... he just fell into like the fire, so shouldn't he be like burning? He's a little dead right now, so I mean, whatever. But shouldn't he still be burning? Dead yeah. bodies burn? He's burning behind the banner, okay? Yes, he's burning behind the banner. You can't see it, they censored it because it was too gruesome. Yes, 90s animation. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die. Watched the chaos that followed. Watched man and var slaughter each other. Even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade. Quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. 
This sort of wool doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new This head. voice acting. It's not the best. No. I don't think these men are, are native English I'm speakers. In a way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Alright. Okay. Sure. Guess we're going to the proving grounds. Yeah. Um, maybe not now, though. Nope. We're gonna go to the proving grounds next time on Games I'd Like to Film. Woohoo! Yeah. If you like this episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. Until then, I've been Run Bam Run Faster. And I'm Myrtle, filling in for Kurtz, who's taking a sanity week is Sanity sabbatical. There we go. That's a better word for it. Yep. Anyway. We'll, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.